Hey guys, it's Matt, turn the banana 43. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Railroad Club ES44C4 or ES44AC from MTH's Rail King Imperial line. This engine was a special club only offered locomotive. There was only a hundred made and overall I really like it. It's a Protosound 3 so it's got all the nice Protosound 3 sounds and all the nice Protosound 3 control and all that good stuff. It's got two flywheel motors, got the smoke unit. It's got the little chase lights on the side, you'll see those later. It's got ground lights, a whole bunch of other nice lighting features, and just a lot of nice details. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take a look at some detail and then run it a little later. Okay, so starting up on the front of the engine, you have a protocoupler, which can be thrown using your MTH remote or the transformer if you're running conventional. You have a coupler cut bar right here which does move up and down. Then you have some MU hose detail. Now with my coupler cut bar here, I have had a little problem with this side. It was low and wasn't connected. Although what I had to do was I just had to connect it. It took a little while but I finally did it and it looks pretty good now. Now in the box if you want, there is a snow plow that you can attach. There are two screws on the underside one two and you can attach the snow plow if you want I personally do not have that installed but you can if you want to coming up on the nose of the locomotive you have a lot of nice handrail and stanchion work you have a safety chain right here you have two ditch lights now these oscillate back and forth when you blow the horn you have these molded in handrails here then you have an operating headlight. Now if you're running conventional, this will serve as the capacitor startup light, meaning that if you're running conventional, the capacitors will charge and you'll be able to tell when they're charging by the headlight being on. And then you have this little clear plastic window, and then this door. Now this door does not open, but it sure looks good. Coming up a little bit more, you have some more handrail work. Now this is cast in too. Then you have these separately applied sand caps. You have four windshield wipers up on the cab here. You got this little handrail here. Then you have the road number 2014. Here's a look at the one side of the engine, the right hand side. You have a sunshade right here. You have the road number 2014. This beautiful striping, this yellow striping here. You have the ES44C4 designation plate. And then right here you have blue backlit and ground lights which are really cool. I'll go ahead and share those a little bit later. Moving back some more, you have some more striping detail here. Then you have the very crisp MTH RSC Club logo which looks really really good. Then you have this handrail work which stretches the length of the engine. And then finally down here on the fuel tank you have some separate painted items and a fuel gauge. And finally on the back of the engine here you have the radiator cab area here you have a brake wheel here and then on the top this panel here these back screens are not see-through but the fan assembly here is and I believe the fans spin I'm not 100% sure though and this comes off you see the fans in there and then you got your controls we'll take a better look at the controls in just a couple of minutes finally on the back you have a operating reverse light here got another sand cap you have the 2014 road number. You have some handrail and stanchion detail. This is the same that's on the front. Then you have on the pilot, coupler cut bar. Now this coupler cut bar, I left the way it was because it was fine. You have an operating coupler, which again can be thrown using the remote or the transformer. And then you have the MU hoses. And finally on top of the engine here, up on the top of the cab, we got a GPS unit right here and then we got some antenna work which looks really good then down here you have some panels here now these obviously don't pop off these are just molded into the plastic shell coming back a little more you have a separately applied horn piece then you have a smokestack with an operating smoking inside and to fill it you just pour your fluid directly down the stack and if you have a needle tip bottle what you can actually do is you can stick the fluid right down into the actual batting of the unit 
so you can make sure you're getting it into the smoke reservoir which is really nice my only downside with the smokestack is that there's no cover up on top we have a premier line es44 in the pennsylvania heritage scheme and that has a slit in the middle here it's a covered piece and there's an opening on either side of that and that to me looks much better so i don't know why it's fully open like this if it was if it was me designing this i would put a cover up on top here but no mth i'm sure there was a good reason and finally we come back to the radiator panel now like i said this pops off it's held down by four magnets you can see one two three four and then down in here we have the engine controls we have the master volume control the master smoke control and then right here this is what would be a DCS DCC control switch to toggle between running this engine with DCS which is MTH's command system or DCC which everybody pretty much knows about DCC but that's mainly for the HO but MTH has it in these new ProtoSound 3's now they do not include a switch you can buy one from their parts department and then that's where that switch would go you have the back motor here and then you have the reverse light now the reverse light on this train is really really bright along with all the other lights all the lights on this train are LEDs and then this just slips on back like this now you can put it the other way I've actually done it by accident a couple times and it does fit on just like it would the other way so you just kind of make sure it's keyed now you remember because two things the fan blades and this little notch the little notch is for the reverse light so you always know that the fan blades go this way and the notch is towards the back okay so that takes care of the review part of this presentation now what we'll do is turn it on and run it quickly before we run the engine just want to give you my favorite feature my favorite feature is the paint job the paint job is really nice on this one now I specifically say the paint job because this is a club ES44 decorated in the MTH colors. This is very rare, only 100 made, and the only reason why I own it is because it's a club engine. If it was a regular production series engine, I would not own it. I only got this because it was club, so my favorite feature is that's a club engine. So what we'll do now is turn it on and run it. I also got some club cars that will run a little later with it. Okay, so we're all set. I got the track power on, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine on using my MTH remote, and turn it on by pressing the SSU soft key, which is the extended startup sequence. So I got the sounds turned down a little bit so you can hear me talk. So right now that the engine started up, we have the number board lights on, the headlight, which has the Rule 17 feature on it, so it's not at its full brightness. That'll happen when we move the engine. The little ground light is on right there, and then that thing, the lights that are flashing are the little chase lights. And right now they're flashing in like this. When we move it, they'll flash out like this. You know, like this way. So, and then the ground lights will shut off once you move the train. The ditch lights will turn on when you move it. The headlight will brighten up and the cab will shut off. So, when you roll the train, this is what will happen.
So we'll, we'll run a little later, but just wanted to quickly show you that. So I'll go ahead and turn the sounds back up and then we can listen to some other sounds. Okay, here's the horn.
So guys, that about wraps it up for this review. This engine is really, really nice. I think that if you have any club cars from MTH, be it the Premier cars or the Rail King cars, this or any of the other club engines, if you can find them, would be a very nice addition to your set, especially the Rail King Club, like I have here. I've got six, soon to be seven cars to have with this train, so it'd be really, really cool, I think, to have a whole train and nothing but this stuff. It'd be really cool, I think. If you can find this engine, get it. It may be hard to find. Like I said, only 100 made. The only place I've seen that has them, besides MTH, which at the time of this filming, I checked on their website, and not even MTH had it in stock. So it's very hard to find. The train room in Hagerstown, Maryland, I think is where it is. I'm not 100% sure, but they claim to have it. I don't know if they do. I can't access their products for whatever reason but that's if you want this engine that's a place to go but other than that good luck finding it otherwise but if you want it go for it. it's really nice if you're interested in purchasing this or any of the other regular production ES44's they've made the Heritage ES44's I believe they've made all 10 of them I'm not 100% sure though and they've also made several other road names like CSX and Kane Pacific and so forth but if you want one, the retail on those is just under $330. And if you want this one specifically, you may be able to get it for as low as $250. That's how much I paid for this one here. And overall, I have to say it's really nice. So that's going to wrap it up for this review. At the end of this video, which you'll be seeing in just a second, I'll show you guys some pictures that I took of this engine when it was brand new. And I think that they, were, they turned out nice. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll catch you later.